Hi, I'm Doug Wallman. Today I'm going to be doing... Let's start. Okay, three times is a charm. Hi, I'm Doug Wallman. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this Mountain Smith um, hot box hauler. <laughs> Mountain Smith hot box hauler. It is uh, something that goes with my uh, outdoor camping stovetop slash grill thing here. So uh, this is a Coleman, a Coleman Fire Sergeant is what this is. But this is like a bag that can go with it. Now Coleman does have their own bag that would probably work, but I did notice in some of the YouTube reviews it's rather tight. And at a passing glance at the uh, specs of this one, which I don't, I didn't write down or anything, it looks like this would be a pretty good fit. And may, maybe not quite as tight, we'll see. But I'm gonna unbox this. And once again, piece of paper. This is a Mountain Smith Hot Box Hauler is what they call it. Mountain Smith Hot Box Hauler. So with no further ado, let's unbox this. Down back here. No accidents, please. <laughs> and there it is. Get rid of this cardboard box wherever I can land it. And there was nothing else in there. Just double checking. Nope. Do. All right. Hot box hauler, camp stove, camp kitchen organizer. Looks rather nice. Yeah, it looks, I mean, no, I don't want to kick Coleman under the bus because I'm really fond of their product. But this does look a little nicer then. It looks like the only way to get this off of here is to rip it. Yeah. Not a big fan of doing that. Any key things I could read off of here. Organize it, store it, haul it. It does have some dimensions here. Uh, height is 3.5 inches, length is 24.525 inches, and the depth 6.5 inches. Uh, so this capacity up to 30 pounds. Anywho, organize, well, I think I said that. Organize it, store it, haul it. Mountain Smith. I'm just hoping that's focusing a little bit. I don't know that it is, but let's move on. I am trying. Wow. All right. And there's that side of it. I have no idea how that wind gust happened. That makes absolutely no sense. Is it too dark in here? Do we need to compensate for the light? All right. Well, let's, let's see if this uh, actually fits. Let's, 
think we have it upside down here. This might be a little overkill. Sorry, you probably can't hear with the zipper there. Might be a little overkill for what you need or what I even need, but it is a little nicer. Uh, I'm not even sure how much I'll take this out other than my deck. Maybe even my parents. I probably will take it out sometime, but I haven't honestly been camping like you normally would with a Coleman Fire, fire Sergeant. There's other similar ones. They're all kind of, what's the word, Hyper Flame. There's a Fire Cadet, and there's several others, I think. I hardly seen any mention of my particular model on YouTube, just a little bit, so I'm probably a rarity. Looks like there's a strap and it's already attached there on that clip. We're just gonna try real quick to get this in here. And right now, this is how I have mine configured. So you have my extra accessories here, which you can all fit inside the Fire Cadet. But let's say I want to just leave it configured that way. I think there, there may or may not be some storage in here. There is storage in here, but I don't know if it's enough to accommodate for what I have there. But we'll find out. Otherwise, I can just store it inside um, the, the Fire Sergeant. I think I need to open that up somewhere. No, it's that's as far as it opens. Well, I'll tell you what, it seems like it slides right in there. Some people would like a tighter fit, probably, but uh, I kind of like this to be able to fit it in there. Otherwise, I probably won't end up not really using it. Um, the handle could be a little challenging. It looks like it's in the clear. Looks like it's in the clear. At least for that. Now there's room for other, th sorry, there's room for other things too. Looky there. I was trying to see if I was hiding something behind there that I wanted to remember. Um, I'm just going to choose my empty one for now. There's no other way to put an empty one in there. We could put one there and it would still shut. I don't know if you'd want to do two. One of these 16 ounce uh, propane cylinders. You could. I'm not even sure if that's recommended. You could probably do it on the next right side. Probably just put it on the outside. Um, Coleman's has one on each side, kind of hanging on the outside. Not really hanging, but just kind of mounted there. Now whether or not there's room for utensils and things like that. I could fit that in there. Or I could just However, I figure this out. I don't know if this is going to fit. Oh. Yes, it probably will. So, and once again, this can just fit. That probably won't fit like that. But it'll, it'll fit inside the Coleman just fine. I'll just have to reconfigure. And if I'm not honestly going to use it on a trip, I, I might not even take it, you know. I kind of wanted everything just to go in here. With a little more experimentation, I can probably figure that out. Maybe I'll try just a little bit more, but we don't want the video to go on and on. They last too long as it is, right? As long as that's going in there. That's how you would store it in your, in your stove. But it might not be that way here. If I just want it pre-configured, it looks 
like it would work. I don't want to stress it out too much, but yeah. No, it's, it's all in there. You could probably even fit another canister of propane in there. I don't, I don't think I'd be interested in doing that right now, but yeah, I'll probably just put it in my closet and uh, if I don't use it for a while, it's a little more safe. Other than that, you could use a garbage can or, or garbage can, a garbage sack or something like that. That's what actually they said in the owner's manual. Why is it focusing weird like that? Um, see, I'm monitoring my focus just a little bit there. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a nice bag for this Coleman grill, that's for sure, or stove, kind of both, kind of a stove grill combo. Hot box hauler, mountain smith, forged for life. Camp stove, camp kitchen organizer. And here's their idea of what you would put in there. Kind of like that, Let's see. Trying to maybe change the lighting. Not the lighting, but the. Uh, this is an ISO either. This is normally I change the ISO, but uh, I took it off manual, and it's not on automatic either. I think it's on. Well, it's called TV. I think it's like shutter speed. But anyhow, that's not what this video is about. I'm glad you were able to watch this. I'll try to wrap it up here real quick. I think this will work out for me pretty well. And like I said, it probably is a little overkill for what I actually need, but I kind of like it to be nice. So, uh, and it is. Let's see. Just real quick. We got a little clip here. Now these are plastic clips. They look plenty durable. There's, there's a metal portion of the clip. Step on my headphones. Oh yeah. I'm not even sure what it, what it's showing here on video. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll have to go to the park and actually use this. Let's put this down. Maybe I should have used an omnidirectional <laughs> microphone, but... Okay. Well, that'll be it. Thanks for watching, guys. Do remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification button. The ones that say all notifications. Don't want to miss any. <laughs> all right, God bless. Read that again. Interior organizer compartment for kitchen essentials. Let me read this all over. Let's start all over. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm going to insert this in the video. I kind of missed some of the key highlights on here. So let me read this. Uh, padded storage compartment for a two burner camp stove of most brands manufacturer. Which I thought that read a little funny, but I know what they mean. Padded storage compartment for a two burner camp stove of most brands manufacturer interior organizer compartment for kitchen essentials adjustable padded sling with d-ring attachments for shoulder carry dual one and one half inch tote style handles front panel mesh accessory pocket fits into our zip top hauler for multiple gear organization well i won't go that far but yeah you never know but I think I'll keep it with the bag. Mountain Smith. All right, I thought I'd insert that since I missed that. For more product details, check out www.mountainsmith.com. All right. Volume 40 liters. Didn't read that before either, but I didn't really want to. Uh, what's it read here? 
Founded in Golden, Colorado in 1979, Mountain Smith continues its commitment to building the best made, most durable and functional packs on the market, unmatched by anyone for their comfort, stability, value, and performance in the backcountry. This tradition of legendary quality continues with a full line of products for today's outdoor and active lifestyle consumer. You'd think I'm getting promoted, or I'm promoting them, um, but really I'm not getting paid or anything. Any such thing. It's not really meant to stand up right, but I thought I'd try to feature it like that, standing up like that. So, all right. There's probably other things on here I missed. But I think I got the main highlights. All right, so I am back with one more thing. I did notice while watching, reviewing the video that there was a problem focusing. I even I noticed even during the video that there was a problem focusing when this uh, flap here was up. It suddenly engaged in some erratic focusing behavior. And as soon as I straightened it out, live it was fine after that for the most part um so yeah let's let's try that again just a quick recap oh i moved this already this is normally on top it's okay like that there's a compartment there 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 Velcro there and there. Pretty deep. I don't have anything in there right now, but when, maybe when I get some more camping utensils or any camping utensils, I can maybe throw a few things in there. So there's lots of room in there. Probably could do paper towels, paper plates, or whatever you want to throw in there. I think it shows there's plenty of room, if not, I didn't put much in there. I already showed this, right? You can put your propane in there. I'm not going to take that out. Yeah, there's the, the stove slash grill. And just one more time for good measure. This time I'm going to double sure this is focused. I'll actually, not on me, on that. On that. Yep. Yeah. Alright. So that's what that looks like just to be sure you could see that. All right, thanks for watching. I think this time it really is the end. I thought I'd tag on those items though. God bless.